Um, hello? Hi? Hi, hello? I think I'm live? I, I don't know, my computer has to do an update, so I figured I'd just do it now and I'll just play as it updates. Um, I don't have chat open. Um, um, you know, a little vibe. The game has been open for like three days. It's probably okay, right? It, it's, it's an RPG Maker game, it wouldn't break or anything like that. We were looking for... Ba no? Basil. Yeah, we're looking for basil. And trash. Oh my. Sorry, allergies. is like major pollen, I guess, today. I don't know. I'm never even sure if it's pollen. But, you know. Everyone blames it on the pollen, right? You wanna talk to me? No. I think you did. Neither of you a pollen? Nope, not your name. Basil? The basil's in here? Correct. Is there a basil in Geno's? Yo, we're eating tonight, boys? Nope, never mind. Basil in here? About it? It's like it might be in my bathroom. You never know. No, we have five. We're fine. <laughs> None of you guys are basil? Bananas, man. Gardening area? What would be here? Sorry, Polly, I'll find him. Maybe. Move? That's a whole damn aisle. Uh, this basil, no, basil is one floor, or one street down, right? I think. Knock, knock, knock. There's no response. Hey, have you seen Basil? My dog Luke is running out the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Sai, where'd he go this time? I'm gonna find him more. Small bone. Big bag of trash. The response is he at the church? Let me take your trash, it's money. Hey, Father, have you seen uh, Basil? Been leaving from the cemetery all, um, all day? Okay, I don't know how to get to the cemetery. Name my way to the cemetery. Lose some baguettes. Bread. Smells toasty. Uh, 
Our dearest Mari, the sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari, it feels like so long ago already. I shall think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mari passed away, Hiro, Hiro really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped talking, taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and support him, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blanket and started saying stuff. I like how I missed him and how he wanted him to get better. Harry was really worried how Mario wouldn't have wanted him to seem like this. Thought I was helping, but... Whenever he got angry, he suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. I mean, it was pretty hurtful, too, but I think I blotted out most of it. My eyes were already super red, but the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I did my best to calm him down, but whenever I said it, it made him worse. Never seen Hero do anything like that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared that, well, I started, I started crying, too. I see Mom and Dad ran into our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. Heh <laughs> heh. I think that's where Hero got the senses back, because he ran to me and hugged me right away. I kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hero got a lot of better, got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more. Doing a bunch of extracurricular act stuff. He's actually good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more cl closed off now than I, he used to be, but I'm just really glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mari's death. Hero's never visited here, not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him, I don't know. Teddy bear. <laughs> Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits there are howling. I like they're having a welcoming party. Someone close by might be joining them soon. Ah, is this okay, Beardy? What's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You believe too if you see what I've seen. <laughs> I've been everywhere. Is, is this is the issue. I feel like I've been everywhere. I don't know where else Basil could be. I still want to say he's in my bathroom. <laughs> um, maybe I should open my stream. This would be a pretty smart idea, right? <laughs> I'll go knock through the door. Maybe broke into someone else's bathroom. Maybe it was my house. You never know. Streamlabs. What the frick, bro? This is the suburbs. It's a neighborhood, a quaint neighborhood. And you're going 90 miles per hour? There's no response. Uncall for. It's the 80s. Where do you think you're going? Another coke fuel party? They can wait. <laughs> Are you the dog? Bark, bark, bark. Okay, I'll head back over there. Maybe he's in your bathroom? Bunch of family photos, Kellis has a lot of relatives. He's not in the bathroom, frick. It's not my house, you never know. Man, do you have the key to my house? You're still won't let me in. Stop it. Kelso. I'm gonna go find that dog that I think has just gone back. Maybe I'll get a stinking 20 buck reward. I believe it was down here on Basil Street. I found your Poochie. 
Sorry, Lucas. Don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for that trouble. Here, take this. You got a paintbrush. It was cool to carry around. Thank you. I'll finish it. Not in your bathroom either? Who has their washing machine like that? Couldn't just turn it sideways? Kind of a killer beat though. No response. Oh, what the frick? Ma'am? How do you do? Well, hello again. I must thank you again for helping me get my medicine yesterday. You know, you kids remind me of two of my sons who were when they were young. Those two were quite different from each other, but got along very well. People would always say they balanced each other out. Keck, keck. I might not look it, but I'm trying to turn 64 this year. I've had seven kids in my lifetime, but everyone moved out except my eldest son and my youngest daughter. My eldest son never leaves his room, though, so he probably will never leave. So true. You wouldn't have to happen to have a, a basil in here, would you? Why, yes, that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly betrothed. I'd appreciate if you keep your optical appendages in their sheaths. So she assimilates my confab better than anyone and anything else. She's much, such a sweetheart and we love each other. Now leave us alone. Goodbye, Kramer. Bro, I checked every bathroom. I don't know where Basil could be. Can Basil be somewhere in Fairway Park? I was already here, my man. I remember being a lot bigger. <laughs> Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help. Where don't did you hear that? I think it was Basil. Help me, please. Where is the voice coming from? I don't think I know this area. There's a voice coming from the old hangout spot. should still be around here somewhere. Real close, by the way. Help me, somebody. What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Hang on, Basil. Be quiet. Somebody's gonna find this place. I'm not trying to hurt you, we just want you to get out of here. Hey, stop it. 
What are you doing to Basil? What the? Grumble, grumble. Kellen Rodonkian. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey, we gotta defend our turf. Aubrey. Grr. Go away, Kellen, you're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? This used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine, if that's how it's gonna be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him, just started screaming for no reason. Sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? You're telling the truth, stop, stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys, let's make a, sure this is the last time these two mess with us. Sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Did I'll just kill? If you and Rodong are going to pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang, let's teach them a lesson. The hooligans. Six damage. Took no damage. Throw your ball at him. Hold on, Kel, I got you. Throw a ball. It whiffed, you son of a gun. <laughs> on yourself. You son of a gun. On yourself, brother. Huff, huff. Is this the real life? We won, master. We won. Serves you right, nerds. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Eh, Cal? Redon, get the heck out of here. Well, we really did it. Evil foes have been defeated. Dang, sorry, we're done. Why did I think I'd be taking on six people at once? Even there are a bunch of dweebs. It's overkill. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. Can't just leave here knowing this is the person you become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Why do they keep saying it? Mari is dead. Can you stop it with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I can't believe. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at the old hangout spot. We have to spell it out for you. Listen to him, Aubrey. Just spreading crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Sigh, this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. Coming, Aubrey. Oh, okay. Get you later then. Aubrey. Ooga. Ooga. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I want you to leave me alone. Roy Donk, why? Why do you show up now? We just want to get. We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. I mean, I'm the bully, but you're all messed up, too. Where were, you, where, where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? And you, you're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I get away from me. 
Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? Taking this way too far. Wait, hold on, I didn't mean to. We don't have to worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Let's go help Basil. You want to say Basil? Yeah, what happens if you flush the toilet? What the frick? Okay. Ooga, ooga. Hello, Mari. Careful on those stairs. Just be a bit careful going down those stairs. Okay, I'll get closer. Yo, new knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something drags you down. I will calm. I do not want to stab Basil, if this is what this is alluding to. Steady your heartbeat, don't be afraid. Not as scary as you think. Focus. You have to keep going, don't give up, no matter how impossible it seems. Reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Persist. <laughs> we don't persist. We're rising? No longer gonna be afraid of water. I'm guessing. <laughs> Bro, how deep is this thinking pond? It's our homie. Oh, it's Hero. Thought it was Kelso. Humph, it looks like Basil's breathing is steady. You need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Get him home as soon as possible. Wait. Where do you think you're going? Um, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? 
Come on, guys, we gotta go. I, I do not know how to help you. It's just breathing steady, but we should bring him back as soon as we can. Sorry there, Aubrey. We'll be leaving. Have fun pushing people in the ponds. Oh, let me check, let me check. in here. I do not know how you change the language. Just absolutely booking it. With the child? Hello, Polly. Basil? What happened? Is he okay? Breathing is stable. Just needs to change a clothes. Need to change the clothes in a warm bed. Yeah, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Chicken wang. Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Chicken Graham Graham. Don't mind me. What's up, Graham Graham? Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. Two peas in the pod. Hello, hero. Hey, Kel. Hey, Roar Donk. Looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and you, that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from the hour hangout spot. I guess I got there right at the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure that was some kind of misunderstanding. Oh, brother, you don't even know. I'm the same anymore, hero. Become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey? What happened when I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. I heard you made a meatloaf. Pretty pog. No, Roy Donk, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping into the lake to save Basil like that. I know, I know. Even if he would ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Absolutely. freaking lutely Okay. Show the wind-up, brother. I'll play with Hector. Then know Hector was his name. Uh, Kel? I didn't realize I was playing as you. This is a Mori and Hector time. You can scoot it off. Is dad so? Ah, oh, Kel, Hero, where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick. Sorry, mom, we got held up, but the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Mom, I'll have you know I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. Sorry, it's chicken roast, not a uh, meatloaf. And Sniff has gotten cold. <laughs> oh, mother, please don't cry. Don't worry, mom, that's what a microwave is for. What the frick? Oh, this ruined the dinner, right, was you? My poor dinner? There, there, honey, cheer up. Today's a special day, there's no need to be sad. Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Sniff. Oh, your dad is right, there's no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero, we all miss you so much. 
We are... Water splash emoji. Sounds like a salt Sally is awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. Cool. Let's go grab some food and heat it up. Oh, here we got your favorite. The chocolate chip cookies and the old hero sandwich. Oh, how sweet. is exactly the same as last year. We got a home-cooked meal, but it's cold. He did that by using the microwave. We're gonna just eat it cold. No, nope, never mind. Phew. Now that everything has calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. So good to see you again, Rory Donk. It's really been a way, uh, way too long. It was good to see you again, too, Kel. So, Rory Donk, I heard from Mom you're gonna be moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be the last day with us. The wind might seem kind of nerve-wracking right now, but it really isn't too bad once you get used to it. It'll be a good fit for you, Rodonk. You learn a lot more, uh, you learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. A little sad to see you go, but I'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Sigh. We sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Blazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach, but honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out with your plays, Don't Roar Donk. You guys had everything a big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano, and of course, our very own treehouse. Oh, yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it Roar Donk? Saved. Looks like the food's done. I couldn't imagine putting like a sinking 20, 12, or like a 12 pound turkey in this thing on my grill. <laughs> Then you're chatting there. Also, did you put the metal pan inside the microwave? You psycho. Oh, where am I going? Did I not get it out? Is there a, a history option? We go into your bedroom to eat this 12 pound turkey? Chicken? By the way, Hero basically gave Rodonk his photo album yesterday. You want to see it? You have Beto's photo album on you? Sure, let's take a look through the album while we eat dinner. My first photo. Okay, yeah, we don't need to read this because this is no, no new dialogue. We'll scroll through. Get Bent Miranda. Bro, he's really chugging the orange juice, huh? He's a frog. What a view. I'm done looking at the photo album. The other some photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Water splash emoji. Here, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just that. Well, Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right, she isn't. So I still have the album ready. Still have, still this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids, haha. -ha. Roy Donk have a favor to ask? Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? It's a good idea, but you gotta convince Mom first. You're probably gonna be kinda mad about it, you know, spending enough time with her and Dad and stuff. With her and stuff, you know how she is. We are. See what a mess that was. Sally made a little doo doo, but she's all clean now. I'm doing me too. To wee ubu. Hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. We are. Stop it, kill your scared her. Ahem. So, uh, hey, Mom, we were wondering if we could go hang out at Roy Dong's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh, but you just came back. And it's already so late. What about spending time with your mother? I'm going to be here for the rest of the summer, and Roy Donk will be leaving the day after tomorrow. Plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for here to spend time with Kel and Roy Donk. I haven't seen Roy Donk around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys had a chance to hang out. Say so we should let him. Sorry, fine. Then you boys can have your fun. Hero has to wash the dishes uh, with me for the next week. Sure. I guess I can do that. 
Is that, is that really that big of a deal? You're free to go? Come on, Sally. Let's leave you or mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? Really revving over the guilt, huh? Like, oh, mom. Hey, so I'm really glad that we got up to hang out and everything, but I feel so pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. So you have flowers already? I think we should get my mom some fresh ones, though. Fix it isn't that far off away. Oh, here we're always a mama's boy. Move? That's been kind of... Okay, you should go chat to somebody else. I'm not sure walking therapist. Do we not buy them from the... In the back, we go talk to the cashier. <laughs> Hope you're paying, hero. You can buy stuff and fix it yourself. How much would like to buy? Oh, before I forget, Rodong is here for some uh, money for my mom's flowers. Didn't think I would let you pay for it, did ya? 10 bucks from hero, wow. Bro, that's kind of killer. I buy two. I'm gonna love these flowers, drop them off at my place, Rodong. This is your house. Looks like they're just getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. I'm good to you? Yeah. Sally. Where's your mother? Miss Kell. Hey mom, I have to send you some flowers. I paid for the flowers. Oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're such a charmer, just like your old man. Sorry for overreacting earlier. I know we're done with moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder than make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure you will be. Take care of Royals Dunkus. Know that you'll always have a home here. Wow, it just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Roy Donk. Is your garage not connected to your house? Wow, this place is cleared out, Roy Donk. Your house feels a lot bigger now, but nothing's here. Used to be a couch right here, and we watch TV. We all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from when that one time I spilled my orange Joe. Mari got so mad at me because her cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? Oh man, looks like it's getting too dark to see out the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? Gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? What will be the next time we can spend the night with Roy Donk like this? Love to, but mom's not going to be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up in the night because of Sally's crying anyway. Going to wash dishes with mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. I'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so it will only be a walk away. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I remember this hallway. Closet was to the left. What 
closet. And the piano room is to the right. When the piano is still there, I'll go on ahead and see. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Do they like Beast by Dreon? <laughs> Show off. Yes, I still got it. Now we're down through reminds me, do you still play the violin? I don't know, do we? Oh, it's not here. Yes, you already packed it up. The song used to play with Mari. So it's stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. To play it over and over. We'd even hear it from your house sometimes. From our house sometimes. What was it again? Uh, someone's been taking care of Mars piano. Really, I dust it all. Come here, so remembers how to play all good and stuff. I can barely even read sheet music anymore. Yawn, man. All of a sudden, I'm getting real sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. I'll get the meal. I'll have to get up pretty early for my morning jog anyway. So, where should we sleep? We're down. Probably somewhere in your room, right? Remember, you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. Sleep on the floor, and if anything, we'll go find some blankets. Hold on, kill away from me. Grand piano. Where did Moore is etched across the center? One of the two grandfather clocks that stopped working a long time ago, but mom wants to keep them around. It's gonna be a flash marker because I gotta go blow my nose. So I'll be right back. But give me a pause. Uh...